Now we're going to look at a term called lens effectivity and vertex distance, which is how to use far points to calculate contact lens powers. And this will be on just about every test you ever take. Lens effectivity is a change in light vergence that occurs at different points along its path related to vertex distance. So in correcting an amotropia like myopia or hyperopia, the focal point of the correcting lens must coincide with the far point of the eye. And this lens power depends on its vertex distance, that is the distance from the eye. Keep in mind, and never forget this, that as a lens moves closer to the eye, either of a myope or a hyperope, you always add plus. Cap. Closer, add plus. In other words, whatever glasses someone has, as you move them closer to the eye to turn them into a contact lens, optically speaking, you always add plus. A minus 10 becomes like a minus 8.5. A, a plus 10 becomes like a plus 11. Plus 12. Always add plus. Here's an example. Plus 15 lens is 10 millimeters in front of a cornea. What is the power of the contact lens? Of the simple, similar contact lens. Well, let's look at the focal point of the lens. Well, a meter divided by plus 15 is plus 6.67. So, this is hyperope, that means it's going to be back here, the far point of the eye. So now, we subtract the 10 millimeters, that's the vertex distance, from the focal length of the correcting lens, and we get 5.67 centimeters, which we convert that back into diopters is 17.64 diopters, meaning, let's go back one, a plus 15 diopter lens when moved one centimeter to the eye is necessary to convert it to a plus 17, approximately 17 and a half diopter contact lens. That's what we're talking about. So, with the same 15 diopter lens at a vertex of 10 millimeters, how much accommodation is required when viewing an object 40 centimeters away? And then how much accommodation is needed with the corresponding contact lens? Now, since you require a minus 17.64, I'm sorry, a plus 17.64 contact lens at the principal plane of the eye, we can assume that the eye is deficient by 17.64 diopters. So now that we have an object 40 centimeters away, that means its vergence will be minus 250 when it hits this lens. After passing through a plus 15 lens, there will be plus 1250 of vergence as V as it passes, right as it passes through the lens, plus 1250. So, With this plus 1250 vergence, we find the focal distance of that vergence is 8 centimeters, uh, or a meter, um, divided by 1250. When we subtract the 10 millimeters, we end up with 7 centimeters, okay? When you get to the principal plane of the eye, that is our... Uh, the distance with which we will then say, okay, divide that into a meter, and we have plus 14.3. So from a 15 diopter lens that's 10 millimeters in front of the eye, the vergence of that lens when the light enters the eye while viewing an object 40 centimeters away is plus 14.3, which means that since the deficiency of the eye is minus 17.64, when you add the vergence to that, 
you end up having to accommodate a 3.34 diopters. Not complicated at all, is it? But how much accommodation now is needed with a contact lens? So now keep in mind there was 10, mill 10 millimeters here, or centimeters. So the object, while it was 40 centimeters away from that lens, is actually 41 centimeters away from the contact lens. So the vergence, wait, here comes the siren again. Hold on. Okay, the ambulance reached the emergency room. Continuing onward, since the object is 41 centimeters away, the version striking the lens is going to be, striking the contact lens, that is, is 1 divided by 0.41, or minus 2.44 diopters. So that means with U plus V equals V, the version leaving the contact lens, which was, remember, plus 17.64, is going to be 15.20. So the amount of versions added to the minus 17.64 deficiency of the eye is going to be minus 2.44 diopters. So therefore, the eye must accommodate 2.44 diopters. Let me see. I think we changed to something else here. Yeah, okay. Let me go back now because it's very important to understand that with a contact lens, you're accommodating 2.44 diopters. That the difference between these two is from 3.34 to 2.44. Now keep in mind, this was a plus 15 lens. Hyperopes get to accommodate less when they wear contact lens. This particular one went from minus 3.34 to, or, or rather 3.34 diopters of accommodation to 2.44, given an object at 40 centimeters. My are just the opposite. You have to accommodate more when you put a contact lens on. I'm not going to calculate that because one of these per session is enough. Uh, this could be on your test. Oh, here comes another ambulance. So anyway, with a myope, you have to um, accommodate more. 